We are diving deep into the heart of history for Jesus in Mombasa, Kenya. Together, we are about to uncover stories etched in stone and plaster. We will be traveling back in time in this 16th century masterpiece, which today stands as a UNESCO heritage site, echoing tales of war, slave trading, slavery, colonization, and cultural resilience. In these walls, a dark history exists. This fortress was once known to hold captive souls in the era of inhumanity. We have put in days of work to bring this adventure to you. So, back all up for a historical roller coaster. On the outside of the fort, there are tools of power and control to remind us of the weapons used in past centuries. In this courtyard, silent guardians stand tall. The Cornish Baggan and the majestic Pegasus are the weapons that were used to defend for Jesus from external threats. Their sheer weight and imposing presence bear witness to the conflicts the fortress once endured. Before you travel back in time, there is an entry fee to be paid. Here are the entry prices. It's now time to begin our journey, which begins at the courtyard, which houses remnants of some ancient weaponry, the canons of the past. These weapons are not only a testament of war, but also evidence of the existence of past conflicts and the struggle for power. Believe it or not, the washrooms here have stories to tell. The washroom walls are adorned with graffiti, holding so much history, while at the same time offering a fascinating insight into the ways of past civilization. In the present day Kenya, the Kenyan flag flutters, symbolizing unity and peace at a place which has witnessed countless of flags throughout its wild history. Since the day it was built, different flags have been hosted, including the Portuguese flag, Omani flag, Arab flag, Swahili, and English flags. Standing here, our eyes are met by panoramic views of the Indian Ocean and the English Point Marina Hotel. Just by the flag area, a barracks which brave soldiers once called their home. It feels like we are walking the same path they did, only that we are unarmed. This place is more than a fort. It's a living chapter of our past where we can come, meet and interact with the weapons which all have a story to tell. On our way to the Oman house, we come across a breathtaking sight. Here is a 48-foot humpback whale skeleton which was discovered in Ongwana Bay, Kipini and carefully preserved for all to marvel at. This incredible specimen is a testament to the wonders of nature and the rich marine life that surround us. Right across the well is an enchanting Oman house. This historical gem has been lovingly restored by the Sultanate of Oman and the Kenyan government. It is here where the Portuguese suffered defeat at the hands of the Oman on 13th December 1698. As we ascend, our eyes are drawn to the majestic Oman sails. A symbolic representation of the Oman seafaring prowess and industrial spirit. It is now time to step inside the Oman house and uncover some secrets. Pictures of some notable figures and esteemed sultans of Zanzibar rest the room. In the Oman house also lie aromatic spices that fill the air. The history of the Oman's weaponry and the tools and techniques employed by its people during their time in the coastal city are all here for us to see. Before we continue, kindly support our channel by hitting the subscribe, like, notification and share buttons. By doing so, you will be helping us bring more incredible adventure from around Kenya and the world to you. The Oman's opulent living room is adorned with exquisite art clothing and ornaments, offering a glimpse into the fashionable taste of the Omans. Outside the Oman house was the house tower, where a vigilant soldier once stood guard, ensuring the safety of all within and monitoring the surroundings with unwavering dedication. On our way to the Fort Jesus Museum, we come back to the courtyard where we also come across some weathered ancient ruins and the scattered cannons which exhibit the rich tapestry of war and violence. 
It is now time to head into the museum where artifacts come to life, telling stories of ancient civilization. Here, one can relive history through the art preserved in these walls. The delicate pottery, intricate carvings, exquisite weaponry, and remnants of a vibrant maritime history transport you to a bygone era. For Jesus offers a lot of riches in culture and history, attracting both young learners and curious adults who are eager to unravel its secrets. On our way out, we come across a miniature replica of Gede ruins. Here is a sneak peek into one of the places we will be visiting soon. Gede ruins holds its own stories, waiting for us to uncover. For those wishing to visit the Gede ruins before we do, these ruins are located in Watamu, Kilifi County, within the Republic of Kenya. Having built this fort, the Portuguese heavily invested in the fort. Enter the Portuguese wall painting room where creativity met plaster. Each ship, church, animal, human, and drawing on this wall tells a tale of conquest, lifestyle, and culture. Carbon black and red oxide coupled with boundless creativity ensured history was forever preserved in these chambers. Next to the Portuguese wall painting room is the Masri Hall, where gatherings, celebrations, and important discussions within the fort were conducted. Just before the Masri Hall lies the passage of steps. These steps were originally designed to facilitate the passage of delicate items like food and medicine in and out of the fortress. The passage also served as another entrance from the ocean until it was sealed off by the British. When ascending the steps, one experiences breathtaking views that unfold before your eyes. While this is undeniably one of the fort's most attractive spots, especially when the sun rays hit the walls, it also harbors a dark history of slave trading, as slaves were trafficked through the steps before this area was sealed. Another passage found in the fortress is the Passage of the Arches. As we descend the enchanting stairs of the Passage of the Arches, it is brought to our attention that this passage served as a vital route for the Portuguese. This is where ammunition was transported from the Indian Ocean to the weapon store. The passage got its name from the arc design. Our next visit is to the captain's house. From the captain's window, our eyes are met by a newly developed mini football pitch created by the county of Mombasa. The captain's house had spacious rooms, bathrooms, bedrooms, and a nearby chapel. Near the captain's house was a gun platform with cannons installed on the ground. The cannons were positioned in a manner in which they overlooked the ocean, ready to ambush Oman cargo ships. On the current day, a vibrant waterfront with exciting games now graces the view from the gun platform. People here can engage in playful activities while admiring the beautiful oceanic views and Nyali, which comprises of the land on the other side of the Indian Ocean. This is just a glimpse of what awaits you at Fort Jesus. We invite you to visit our beautiful coastal town and Fort Jesus to fully experience the magic of this remarkable site. Before we leave, we must visit the restaurant at the fortress to satisfy our appetite for both history and delicious cuisine from around the world. Local and international mouth-watering dishes are available as shown by the menu. If you have been captivated by this journey as we have, don't forget to hit that like, share, notification bell, subscribe button, and turn on the notifications. Kindly support our channel by joining our community of explorers for more thrilling vlogs. I was able to enjoy my meal in the shadow of history surrounded by fish pond tables, aquariums, and captivating artifacts. And if you have ever visited for Jesus, Jumbala Mtwana, or any other historical site, kindly share your experiences in the comment section below so we can relive the experience together in upcoming vlogs. Before you go, check out our playlist for more exciting videos like this one. Until next time, keep exploring, keep planning.
and keep making memories. See you on the next adventure and thanks for watching.